Hey viewers, welcome to another game with Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a Vigar game. Vigar is playing as a white mage Vigar, which is of course uh, the white with uh, red skin. Um, yeah, before I forget, he wants me to uh, post his or well draw attention to his Twitch channel, which is going to be in the description. And it is something like twitch.com slash don't call me fail. Not actually sure. Um, it's something like that at least. I will post it in the description and uh, you will be able to visit his channel if you like his playstyle. If you don't like his playstyle you will be able to visit his channel as well but you probably won't. So um, anyhow uh, we are going to um, visit some other great skins. We of course have uh, Spirit Guard Udir here. The new uh, legendary skin. And uh, it looks pretty cool. I have seen it in action in live games, not yet in a replay. So um, I haven't really shown you that at all yet. And then we have Riot Blitzcrank here, which is also one of the new skins, I believe. I'm not actually sure. There have been a couple of Riot skins that were already out. Um, yeah, I like I like this one. That's that's just it. So wow, the blue team just completely. Uh, yeah, overextending here. They should have just ran out when they had the chance, but they're going to just count on the fact that nobody will find them. This was really risky. Uh, they should have died there, to be honest. Uh, yeah, if if this purple team was a little bit better, they would have, uh, well, just gone into this bush because that is kind of the standard thing to do. Uh, after you find nobody here, you go check this bush and then if you don't find anyone here you run around here just to uh, well to get that blue buff but hey that's the way it goes sometimes sometimes people just derp it up and well one of those times was here so um yeah i'm going to go with directed camera it makes it a lot easier for me and even though it spoils many of the fights before they actually end uh, because it well the uh, directed camera of course can look into the future well it's calculated after the fact so um, it can kind of uh, see into the future and sees that there is no more damage coming onto that champion and therefore it will switch to another lane and that is of course something that we cannot do so we cannot see that someone will not take any more damage because well people for example miss their skill shots or well something like that and that just um yeah it makes it a little bit uh spoiler yeah spoiler heavy i guess so uh yeah i'm going to go with the uh, with vigar for now um should be fun i mean vigar versus uh oriana that should be an interesting matchup we do have someone coming in here uh udir is of course standing on top of a ward so there's <laughs> not a whole lot that's going to happen here and um, yeah, Oriana did the right thing. She moved to the other side of the lane. She was on the left side of the lane then goes to the right side. Yeah, they could have still made that work if Udir had a little more balls and just ran in there. Um, if the stun, so the stun field from Vigar actually doesn't hit, uh, Udir can just run in and chase her, <laughs> or chase her until she actually, uh, he actually gets her, but yeah. Didn't really do that. I don't think they would have uh, gotten the kill anyway. Because Oriana is pretty hard to kill with that um, uh, defensive ball. She of course uh, didn't get that uh, straight off. So at level 1 it might have worked. But at level 2 she should have that. But some people actually like the AoE damage more than... Uh, uh, yeah, first you of course go with the ball. The ball movement. And then you go with uh, either the AOE damage or the defensive ball. And um, yeah, some people like the one, some people like the other. We are going to uh, follow up. Unfortunately, Udir was too early here on his bear stance and could not get that to work. But we might actually pick up the kill here. Very nicely done. Udir, very aggressive moves. And he almost died, but almost is not good enough. Or in this case, it is good enough because he actually makes it out alive. Yeah, that, uh, that was very, uh, very impressive. So let's see how um, how Vigar is doing. He has plus 13 already. That is excellent. Yeah, we have seen some pretty derpy games with uh, with Vigars and... Um, oh, hang on. Let's, uh, let's rewind that. I kind of forgot to put it to... Uh, 
uh, to the directed camera, and of course we already know what's going to happen. So yeah, the, the barrier saving him there, and that was excellent, and wow! <laughs> After a blue team scored first blood, three kills <laughs> instantly for the purple team. And uh, yeah, we're going to go with directed camera here because I don't want to be all over the map. I like it uh, to see Vigar every now and then in action, but uh, well, currently there is no action. He's getting ganked now though. So uh, I'm going to go there because even though the uh, directed camera will go there at the la last possible second, I really don't want to do that. And there you can see that Vigar just got very lucky because he doesn't have vision here anywhere. So he just got lucky that he wants to recall and um, yeah, it's going to uh, be safe, therefore. But you're going to try to hold off this lane. Uh, he needs to be a little more aggressive, yeah. Just stand right next to that uh, to that Jax and just kill him. Because there's no way he can, uh, well, he can do anything to you at this point. He's just, uh, it's just... There's, there's no way to survive that amount of, uh, of turret damage. And as you can see, well, we are currently well, just in all three lanes. Pretty much good. Uh, let's, um, let's see what we can actually make here. Um, yeah, well, you can watch the screen and uh, watch Trindomir get owned by Kale. Uh, <laughs> we are going to just... Uh, Set up everyone where they are supposed to be. Who's the jungler? Yeah, it is Jax. Okay. Because, uh, well, Lucian was all the way, uh, uh, or seemed to be all the way in the top lane uh, to me because it switched to the top lane and then I was confused, but he was in bottom lane, so it's just complete retard mode on my part. But that's alright. Uh, so, top lane exactly equal except for the kill. Uh, jungle, yeah, the Udyr really needs to man up a little bit and get more minions because he is about 50% behind, or no, the other guy is 50% up, he's 33% behind, I guess. Um, yeah, we have the mid lane being pretty much equal, but Vikar, of course, stacking up that Q, which is really good, and bottom lane is currently going in Lucian's direction. Even though Draven should come out ahead in that uh, normally later in the game, but uh, for now, yeah, he is uh, he's kind of being out far. So kill wise, of course, Lucian got two kills. So gold wise, we will be uh, over the enemy team as well. Yeah, about 800 more gold and about 200 more for the support. Even though, uh, yeah, there's there are no minions on him, so I don't know why he got only 200 more gold. Should, uh, should have expected more, but probably, uh, yeah, probably didn't get as many, uh, well, assists or something like that. I don't know. It uh, seems strange. But yeah, well, whatever. Um, yeah, Blitzcrank did go for the early, uh, what's it called? The early uh, support? No, the gold item. That's what I wanted to say. Wow, that was. <laughs> just a very easy kill um, yeah ultimate of course doing a lot of damage in that mid lane because it's AP versus AP and Vygar is uh, well perfect anti AP guy pretty hard to uh, to use him against an AD carry but, uh, well still against an AD carry it's, it's still pretty much okay I guess uh, it's just that he doesn't do that massive amount of damage and we are going to pick up this kill very nicely done Nice teamwork here, and um, Vigar picking up another uh, kill or assist, whatever. I think it was just an assist, but well, whatever. He's 2 0 1 currently, 54 minions, and really starting to stack up that Q, I believe, because uh, well, he's doing a good job here. 39 bonus ability power from just that Q, and uh, that is what we want to see at 9 minutes. Uh, let's hope he can keep that up. Because that is your main thing. It's like, uh, well, with this guy and with Nasus, so with Vigar and with Nasus, you need to stack up that uh, that ability as high as possible. And oh, 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 Draven, where were you going, bro? Oh, he might get out. Oh, the oh, the barrier got a lot of the uh, the damage, 
But it wore off just a fraction of a second too early. And oh, a double kill here. No, don't. Oh, oh, that should have so been a double kill. Straight off. Oh my god. Yeah, she still gets the double kill, but he ran straight towards his teammate, making it possible for her to get them both with either an ultimate or just the slow, uh, which would have been good enough as well. Uh, yeah, just herpy derpy, I guess, and um, yeah, both of them just recalling in the wrong spot. I mean, I did the exact same thing yesterday, so I can't really blame them. It's just lack of experience. And uh, definitely lack of warning or lack of, um, yeah, communication on the team, however you want to call it. It is, however, uh, just a matter of, well, not being able to see where the mid laner is and not having the, well, the, the, the common sense to see that she's not in mid lane. And if nobody calls that miss, then, yeah, it is kind of, uh, kind of hard to... Uh, well, to estimate where she is, of course, uh, we can't see whether the miss was called. But even then, if she's not in the mid lane, you have to assume she's going for the recent fight. And yeah, you have to assume that you. So yeah. Oh, 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 lots of damage. No, no finish though. And we might actually still finish this because, well, she's just going to stay in. And very nicely done. Getting an extra stack on that. Uh, the flash into... Um, uh, yeah. The, the flash into uh, uh, the Q. Actually made that work. Very nicely done. Um, how did my directed camera not pick up that kill? Dude, I have the directed camera for a reason. There it goes. Yeah, I used it so that I don't have to follow the minimap at all. I can just watch the main screen and just talk about whatever I want instead of actually paying attention, which is um, the point of the directed camera anyway, <laughs> so that I don't have to pay attention. But yeah, it seems that the directed camera didn't pick up that kill. Uh, Nuno goes down once again. Um, yeah, this time he goes to, uh, I believe, Jax. Yeah, that was probably Jax. Oh man, just go on her! Just go kill kill! Yeah, wait for two seconds. Use your own invul invulnerability if need be. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to get the kill. He used his, uh, his invulnerability way too early there. There's, uh, there's nothing that it did there. And that was unfortunate because he could have definitely picked up that kill. Very easily just... Uh, yeah, bait out the, or rather make her use that ultimate, it's not actually a bait, but if you make her use that ultimate, then um, it shouldn't really be a problem to finish her afterwards if you still have your vulnerability up, and we are going to lose now, I mean there's no way he can get away from Jax, unless Jax screws it up and doesn't have warts on him. Uh, he does have the jump though, the jump is good enough. Yeah, the jump is about equal length to the, the spinning slash, it's a little bit bigger I believe. But uh, yeah, in general he, should, he shouldn't be able to get away there. But yeah, if uh, Jax has a ward uh, with him and he can place that and jump to the ward, then obviously he's going to, well, have a bigger, uh, better time just getting there. You just yeah he, he just has an easier time uh, getting close to people and uh, yeah it's kind of like the Lee Sin only Lee Sin has more uh, well more abilities to do that oh my god that was a lot of damage from that ultimate <laughs> yeah Udio picks up the kill top lane goes down though because uh, well nobody was there so can't really do anything about that then um, yeah, we are going to ward the dragon from behind, which is excellent. And let's see if, uh, if the... No, only one side stone uh, on the map currently, or on the teams. Yeah, the, the side stone on uh, Blitzcrank, of course, is going to allow him to place uh, wards everywhere. Two wards should be good enough for now. And if he goes to and upgrades that to Ruby Sidestone, then yeah, three wards for free. That is excellent. 
It means that you basically cannot get ganked in the laning phase. Uh, two wards already guarantee that, and three wards will of course completely guarantee that, even if you uh, if you get your first tower down, because then you can just ward up three different places, and you can, yeah, there are only like three ways to get ganked, so it's pretty easy. So Udyr are going to get a ward there. Um, yeah, I don't know. We are going to uh, see that um, finally we should be able to kill Kale here. Don't use your ultimate. Now we should. Yeah, there you go. Now he used it correctly. Wow, the last time he screwed up so hard that I was kind of doubting the. Yeah, how long? Uh, how often have you played this guy? And can you actually understand what the ultimate is for? Is he screwed up so hard there? He took like three tower shots before. Uh, getting to the uh, minimum amount of health where you should trigger your ultimate but then uh, his ultimate already wore off so <laughs> kind of therapy and of course kill is not a great escaper she uh, she has that invulnerability which is uh, which is excellent as well as a slow and such but you can't really escape with that or shouldn't be able to let's let's call it that so yeah blitzcrank seems to be uh, used a lot lately he is, of course, still an excellent choice. I mean, he's probably one of the the best aggressive supports there uh, that you can get because of that, especially in the low-level games. Um, in the low-level games, it's all about that surprise hook. Uh, in the higher levels, of course, people will just hide behind minions, and uh, yeah, you will not be able to hook them. And that is uh, that's kind of sucky. So we are going to grab another kill in uh, in the mid lane. 4-0-2 now, excellent score, and let's hope that he can keep that up, because the bonus uh, ability power from that, of course, becomes very big, 5, um, five AP per uh, kill, that's already 20 AP right there, and that is, of course, excellent to have, and stun, 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 no stun coming out, the stun finally goes out on Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank is, of course, a harder target, but uh, yeah, they should be able to do this. Oh no, too much overextending. Uh -huh. <sighs> should have just left her and left them until they had a minion wave with them, then got uh, got them behind them and just well come in from two sides. But no, they ran it one by one by one and. Uh, well, two of them got killed for the Blitzcrank kill, even though they had that super good initiate there. And the bl the blue steel here, very nice, yeah, very aggressive uh, moves in the jungle. Blue steel, and then uh, going back to his own jungle where he already took out the red buff. And we're losing mid lane here. So yeah, really not going too well uh, currently. Three versus one in the towers, and well, the purple team is ahead by three kills and ahead by what's that? Two point two k gold. Yeah, seems about right. So yeah, we are going for dragon here with the purple team, uh, but the blue team just warded it. And why are you stopping for blue buff? I I don't really understand. I guess they they thought that dragon would just stay up. Um, you you know they just put a ward there. Why would you? No, well, uh, you saw them just put a pink ward there and take out your ward, and then you reward it. That is just that that's silly. I mean. That's just silly mode. So uh, I guess the purple team just gave up the dragon. They really wanted to go for that. I mean, you could see that. Very nice flash there. Would have died otherwise. And we are going for dragon now. Okay, this this seems about right. So yeah, we are going for dragon now. Let's see what the blue team can actually bring to the table here. Because this should be good. The grab goes off. And yeah, they take it for free. So the blue team completely derping on that. And uh, oh, wow, that damage. 
almost one shot her, but not good enough. Um, yeah, the <laughs> ultimate once again not being good enough. And oh, come on, the Oriana. No, the Jax is stunned. Are we going to get the Jax? Yeah, it's lagging a little bit. I don't know why. It's really annoying though. It's really, really annoying. It does that sometimes because of the mistakes they have made in the program. I don't know to rewind this to find this is ridiculous. There are a lot of uh, mistakes in the programming and um, yeah, the replay kind of brings that out in, uh, in worse than perfect computers. I don't know why he keeps revealing people, even though there's nothing to reveal. It doesn't do damage, boy. Um, yeah, we should be able to pick that up. Fortunately, Udir did have his turtle shell and is going to stay alive. Uh, so, how did we come out on that? It is a 3 for 1 traitor and maybe a little bit more, but uh, 803 on Vigar. I do understand why he was proud of this game. And uh, yeah, really some excellent play. He stays behind his uh, uh, his allies and just, well, just makes it work for him. And that is excellent. So he should be able to, uh, to escape here. I don't understand why it's lagging 